Hello, my name is Deborah Acker. I am so excited to be coming to your area and I wanted to put together a video. I know many of you guys are new to energy clearing or if not new to energy clearing, you're new to my version and my form of energy clearing. And so I wanted to put together a small video to give you an idea of part of what you're going to experience in my workshops that are coming to your area. So first of all, just a few things. These workshops are all about clearing patterns and clearing pain. Um, I know what it's like to literally have pain or have patterns that are literally stopping you from having everything that you want in your life and that really are holding you down and holding you back. And I also know what it's like to clear those first in myself and now with uh, the many clients that I get to serve on a regular basis. And so these workshops are all about helping you to really connect to yourself and clear out the things that are holding you back and really connect to our truth, right? Because how many of us, myself included, have gone through life and really, first of all, we don't even know who we are, let alone putting that out into the world. And many times we've just been conditioned to shut down who we are, shut down our emotions, shut down all these pieces of ourselves. And once we're willing to go there and really we're willing to start to own and honor all pieces of ourselves and own and honor our pain. And while those can define us, they don't have to take us down. So once we're willing to do all of that and move towards that, everything in our life changes. And so today what I wanted to do is to do an energy clearing with you. And what we're going to clear today is the biggest patterns I see in my clients, in my workshops. Um, these are the most common and uh, most uh, definitive patterns that I see over and over and over again. So we're going to clear those. Just a few things to keep in mind as we go through the clearing. So I always say, first of all, I'm going to connect you to the light. And I always say the light is the truth of who we are, and it's the truth of who we came here to be. And from what I've seen, it's also the quickest way for us to shift, transform, and change. So I'm going to connect you to the light, and then I'm going to have you expand that out 5 feet, 10 feet, all the way out to the entire universe. And I will walk you through all of this step by step, but just to kind of give you, I know sometimes we can go into our minds uh, when we're wondering what's going to happen, so I want to just kind of give you the um, advanced preview. Um, but basically, you know, when we expand out to that entire universe, that's the return to us being infinite beings in a body. That's the return to our truth. That's really the return to our power. So I'm going to expand you all the way out. And then from there, I might say something like everywhere you're not trusting. And you want to exhale that out of your body. And I'll give you the opportunity to breathe in truth, to breathe in light, to breathe in positive alternatives. Of course, if there's another positive alternative that comes up for you, definitely feel free to breathe that in as well. But I always like to give several, um, several possibilities to help replace and clear out that energy. Several things just to note about energy clearing. While energy clearing can feel like a meditation, it's actually not a meditation. It's actually meant to bring up that next layer of energy. So that might mean that you end up feeling better, you feel lighter, you feel more positive, you feel more present, you feel more centered. All of those are actually the truth of who we are, right? And the truth of who we're meant to be at all times. Well, we're in constant flux and constantly on the journey, but it's a piece of who we're meant to be at all times. Uh, but it may also bring up that next layer of the pattern, the next layer of energy. And sometimes that might mean that someone shows up for you differently. Sometimes that's positive. Sometimes they show up for you. You don't even have to have a conversation and they show up for you in a positive way or in a new way. Um, and sometimes it may be a bit of a different experience, right? And it may be giving you the opportunity to make another choice, to choose another um, option. So just note, like whatever comes in your field is the next level, the next layer of energy. And just know, sometimes again, you're going to clear the pattern full on out, and then sometimes uh, you may be giving you the opportunity to make a new choice, giving you the same, you know, same type of experience, and you get the opportunity to make a new choice. A few other important things. As we're clearing, you may notice you feel tingling in your head and your hands. Know that that is just energy coming forth to release. You may also feel emotions coming up. 
And I always say in my classes, if you can allow yourself to feel that emotion and allow yourself just to, to go with that, with the idea that you may never have to feel that pain or feel that, that specific pain that's coming up ever again. So just dive in as much as possible. I know we're, where most of us are conditioned and trained to shut down. Most of us are conditioned and trained to hold back. So I just encourage you, I want you to know that just to go there and allow yourself as much as possible to feel whatever's coming up. Also, you, mind you're, you might find that you feel sleepy or you feel tired, okay? That's also normal. Know that if you fall asleep, um, I highly recommend listening to this audio multiple times, whether you fall asleep or you don't fall asleep, because every time you listen to this, you're going to clear out that next layer of energy. So you can keep listening and keep clearing more and more and more, which is awesome. So... With that, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with the clearing. So just closing your eyes, and obviously if you are driving or you are operating heavy machinery, do not close your eyes. But for everybody else, I don't recommend doing this actually if you're doing that. But if, if for everybody else, I just if you can close your eyes, just start by taking a nice deep breath and just breathing in through your nose and filling your belly and the sides of the body, the chest and the legs with air, and just exhaling out. And again, just taking a nice deep breath, just breathing in through your nose and filling the belly, the sides of the body, the chest and the legs with air. And just exhaling out. And just connecting to the light, the light that's 300 feet above your head. And we naturally do this when we pray. So just see, sense, or feel that light, whatever comes up for you naturally. And just beginning to allow this liquid light to come down in through your forehead, down past your eyes, to allow you to see the truth of who you are and see the truth of who you came here to be at all times. Good. And just moving that liquid light down into your nose and into your ears to allow you to hear the truth of who you are and hear the truth of who you came here to be at all times. And moving that liquid light down into your mouth and into your throat to allow you to speak out, to speak out the truth of who you are and speak out the truth of who you came here to be at all times. And just moving this liquid light across your shoulders down into your heart to allow you to feel the truth of who you are and feel the truth of who you came here to be at all times. And moving this liquid light down into your solar plexus to allow you to stand in your power, which is always your truth. And moving that liquid light down into your stomach and into your hips to allow you to stand ground in and create the truth of who you are and the truth of who you came here to be at all times. And just moving that liquid light down through your legs and out through your feet to allow you to move towards your truth. And connecting into the center of the earth, the center of the earth that feels like mother's love. It's all ooey and gooey and warm and nurturing. Good. And just bringing that liquid light back up through your feet, up through your legs, up through your torso, and up through your face. And again, seeing this liquid light, so it's a golden liquid ray of light coming down and filling your entire face. Good, and coming down your neck and across your shoulders, down your back, down your arms, and out through your fingertips. And moving that liquid light down into your hips, down your legs, and out through your feet. And bringing that liquid light back up through your feet, 
up through your legs, up through your torso, and up through your face. And one more time, seeing this beam of light, this fire hose of light covering every crevice of your face, coming down your neck and across your shoulders, down your torso, down your arms, and out through your fingertips, down into your hips, down your legs, and out through your feet, and then back up through your feet, up through your legs, up through your torso, and up through your face. And expanding that light from above and below, expanding that from your heart, and seeing that light covering the entire room that you're in. So just allowing your body just to open, expand, and breathe. Good, and just opening, expanding, and breathing. And opening, expanding, and breathing, good. And expanding out into the entire building or home that you're in, wherever you are. Again, just opening, expanding, and breathing. And opening, expanding, and breathing. And expanding out into the entire city that you're in, wherever you are located, just super, super, super big. And just opening, expanding, and breathing and opening, expanding, and breathing. Good. And just expanding out into the entire state or country and wherever you are. Again, just opening, expanding, and breathing. And opening, expanding, and breathing. Just knowing that no effort is needed, that this is just the truth of who you are. And we are just returning you to that truth. Good. And just expanding out into the entire continent that you're on, wherever you are located, just super, super, super big. And just open, expanding, and breathing. Good. And just opening, expanding, and breathing. And expanding out past the entire world, past all the countries, past all the continents, just super, super, super big. And just opening, expanding, and breathing and just opening, expanding, and breathing. And expanding out past the entire universe, past all the planets, past all the galaxies, past all the stars, just super, super, super big. And just opening, expanding, and breathing. Good, and just opening, expanding, and breathing. And just opening, expanding, and breathing. And just everywhere where you don't have a strong sense of self, right? So everywhere you're not owning your truth, everywhere you're not connect connected to yourself, everywhere you're not honoring yourself, everywhere you're not loving yourself, um, everywhere you're hiding, right? So every version where you're hiding, you're hiding yourself, you're hiding your true self, everywhere, every version where you feel invisible, um, and everywhere where you're not sure of yourself, right? Everywhere you're in self-doubt. Just seeing all of this exhaling out of your body and just breathing in truth, breathing in light, breathing in love, breathing in self-love, and breathing in you. So breathing in truth, breathing in light, breathing in love, breathing in self-love, and breathing in you. And just breathing in truth, breathing in light, breathing in love, breathing in self-love, and just filling yourself up with you. And one more time, just breathing in truth. Good. Breathing in light, breathing in love, breathing in self-love, and just filling yourself up with you. So everywhere along the lines of that self-doubt, right, everywhere you're choosing not to know, because if you know you could hurt someone or it would make you wrong or you could make a mistake, so all versions where you're choosing not to know, um, and everywhere where you make yourself wrong, right? Everywhere you make yourself wrong, everywhere you make others wrong, everywhere where you're judging yourself, everywhere where you judge others, and everywhere where criticism, you grew up in this paradigm where criticism equals love, right? And that's how you show love, but obviously other people are not necessarily playing in that paradigm. So all versions of that, just exhaling that out of your body, 
and just breathing in truth, breathing in light, breathing in love, breathing in self-love, and breathing in that you are enough just as you are. And again, just breathing in truth, breathing in light, breathing in love, breathing in self-love, and breathing in that you are enough just as you are. One more time, just breathing in truth, breathing in light, breathing in love, breathing in self-love, and breathing in that you are enough just as you are. And everywhere where you're looking for answers, you're looking for value, you're looking for love, you're looking for happiness outside of yourself. So maybe you're looking for this um, from another person, you're looking for this from another thing, or you're from your job, um, for, or from the possessions that you have, like all versions of that, just exhaling that out of your body, and just breathing in truth, breathing in light, breathing in love, breathing in self-love, and breathing in enough. So just breathing in truth, breathing in light, breathing in love, breathing in self-love, and breathing in enough. And just breathing in truth, breathing in light, breathing in love, breathing in self-love, and breathing in enough. And everywhere you're not recognizing or identifying your truth, right? Everywhere you're not recognizing or identifying, um, you know, that this is your intuition that's coming in, right? Everywhere you're not owning your truth, everywhere you're not honoring your truth, everywhere you're not tuning in to the fact that this is your truth, that this is your intuition coming in, that this is your guidance system coming in. Um, and everywhere you're not trusting, right? Everywhere you're not trusting yourself, everywhere you're not trusting others, all versions of that, just exhaling that out of your body and just breathing in truth, breathing in light, breathing in love and breathing in trust, breathing in truth, breathing in light, breathing in love and breathing in trust. And again, just breathing in truth, breathing in light, breathing in love and breathing in trust. And just everywhere where you're not in your power, everywhere you're not owning your power, everywhere you're not standing in your power, everywhere you're not recognizing like power is actually a good thing, right? So every, every connotation you have where power isn't good, right? Being in your power isn't good, right? Because somebody could get hurt or power, you know, the word power, right? What does the word power mean to you? So maybe the word power is like, feels like abusive in some way. So all versions of that, right? Where you're not owning and honoring and standing in your power at all times. Because what the world needs is people owning their truth and owning their power. So all versions of that, just exhaling that out of your body and just breathing in truth, breathing in light, breathing in love, Breathing in self-love, because self-love is owning your power, right? And showing up from that each and every single day. And breathing in power. So again, just breathing in truth, breathing in light, breathing in love, breathing in self-love, and breathing in power. And again, just breathing in truth, breathing in light, breathing in love, breathing in power, and breathing in self-love. And everywhere you feel this need to be perfect, right? So everywhere you feel this need to put on this perfect image, everywhere you feel like you have to put on a brave face, everywhere you feel like you can't show emotion or you can only show good emotion, um, and everywhere you feel like you can't show your emotions, you show your feelings, and everywhere, you know, even deeper than that, everywhere you're not connected to your own emotions, right? You're not connected to your own feelings. Um, all versions of that, you know, and, and also too, like everywhere where you shut down your feelings and you shut down um, your emotions because it's too painful, right? It's too painful to feel that. So all versions of that, just exhaling that out of your body, good. And just breathing in truth, breathing in light, breathing in love, breathing in self-love, and breathing in connection, right? Connection to self and connection to others. So again, breathing in truth, breathing in light, breathing in love, breathing in self-love, and breathing in connection to self and connection to others. And one more time, just breathing in truth, breathing in light, breathing in love, breathing in self-love, and breathing in connection to self and connection to others. And everywhere you're not choosing you, right? 
everywhere you're choosing every single other person over you, everywhere you're not choosing you, you're not choosing you in your relationships, you're not choosing you at work, um, all versions where you're not choosing you, and as part of that, everywhere you're not putting yourself first, everywhere you're putting everybody else first, um, and everywhere where you've left yourself, right, and everywhere that others left you, right, so everywhere you've abandoned yourself and everywhere that others have abandoned you, um, and everywhere um, that you feel like you need to do it alone. So any part of your programming where you're like, I have to do this alone, I need to do this alone, and everywhere where you made the decision that if you actually got help, right, um, and you were willing to ask for help, that you could get hurt. So you made this decision, you made the conclusion to do it alone, or even on the opposite end, you made the decision that you would just be helpless, right? Like Because if you ask for help, you're going to get hurt from that. So everywhere where that's the case, and um, everywhere where you've come to expect that people are going to leave you, right? And you, and you Or you're going to leave you, right? And everywhere you're creating that over and over and over again. So just all versions of that, just exhaling that out of your body. And again, just breathing in truth, breathing in light, breathing in love, and just how loved you truly are. So again, just breathing in truth, breathing in light, breathing in love, breathing in just how loved you truly are, just how supported you truly are you're never alone, that you are surrounded by people and other, um, you know, by your guides and angels, and everyone wants to help you, right? So you're surrounded by people and, and other vibrations that want to help you, by your guides and your angels, everyone that wants to help you. So just exhaling um, all of those patterns out, just breathing in the truth that you are never alone, right? Just breathing in just how loved just how supported you truly are at all times. Just taking all of that in. Just seeing your body filling up with love, filling up with light, filling up with abundance filling up with truth because that is always the truth of who we are and it's always the truth of who, of who we came here to be, right? So just seeing your body filling with love and light and abundance and truth. One more time, just seeing your body filling up with love, light, abundance and truth. And bringing all your energy back into your body. Slowly feeling your body wherever you are sitting, feeling your feet nice and flat on the floor. And taking a nice deep inhale and exhale. And one more time, taking a nice deep inhale and exhale. And when you are ready, Slowly opening your eyes. So welcome back. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I definitely encourage if you have questions or anything that comes up, don't hesitate to email me at deb at deborahacker.com. That's D-E-B at D-E-B-O-R-A-H-A-C-K-E-R dot com. And also, too, so if you're curious about these energy clearing workshops, I would so love to have you join me. You can find out more where I'm going to be on my website at www.deborahacker.com slash workshops. Again, that address is www.deborahacker.com slash workshops. So I would love to see you there. Now, if you're feeling called to take this work further, if you're feeling called to do a one-on-one -on -one energy clearing session, whether you're coming to my workshop or you're wanting to do that in addition to, or you're not in the area to come to one of my workshops and you're wanting to do an energy clearing session, mention that you heard about me on this video and I offer a special one-time, the first time one-on-one -on -one energy clearing for $99. So I would love